Hello, my name is Anna Cunningham and I'm a senior lecturer at Nottingham Trent University. Learning to read is known to be dependent upon fundamental cognitive skills, in particular children's awareness of speech sounds called phonological awareness and their ability to hold verbal information in short term memory called phonological memory. We aim to examine whether there are also benefits of becoming literate on the development of these skills. We focused on a critical time in a child's education, their first five years at school, and examined how reading, phonological awareness, and phonological memory influence each other's development over time. In a group of approximately 780 children, followed from the beginning of their first year at school, from age four to nine, we made four principal discoveries. Number one, phonological memory tasks that loaded strongly on serial order memory, termed in our paper verbal short-term memory, was separable from non-word repetition tasks, each showing a unique relationship with reading. Number two, in this structured equation model, you can see that verbal short-term memory directly predicted early reading independently from phoneme awareness. During the first two years of school, by supporting sequential letter by letter decoding, but reading did not predict verbal short term memory. There were indirect effects from verbal short term memory to reading via phoneme awareness. And from non word repetition to reading via phoneme awareness across the five years of development. This suggests that good phonological memory stimulates phonemically detailed representations through repeated encoding of complex verbal stimuli, which in turn facilitates reading. Finally, there was a bi-directional relationship between non-word repetition and reading. Reading predicted non-word repetition by phoneme awareness by promoting phonemically detailed phonological representations, a process which we term orthographic restructuring, and directly by supporting the use of orthographic cues when repeating new words. It is useful for practitioners to know what are the crucial abilities that children need to learn to read successfully and whether these abilities will be impacted themselves by a child's reading level. Specifically, our second finding that there was a direct influence of serial order memory on reading during the first two years of school tells teachers that children who are good at accurately reproducing an ordered sequence of sounds will be more likely to grasp the skill of decoding. As the children in our sample were trained with systematic synthetic phonics, teachers are aware that the ability to decode depends fundamentally on phoneme awareness and letter sound knowledge. However, our research highlights the fact that there are other skills involved, specifically phonological memory, and some children may struggle with the memory demands of decoding. Another important implication of our work relates to our fourth finding, the influence of reading on the development of non-word repetition ability. This means that we may expect to see deficits in this skill over time in reading impaired children and adults, and more positively, that interventions that improve reading from the intermediate stages upwards may benefit non-word repetition. Indeed, the ability to encode and remember new words that are presented orally as indexed by non-word repetition ability is essential for learning new words, which is important for education. Future research may wish to look at whether increases in reading skill can help children to encode the meaning of new words, as well as their phonological and orthographic form. Finally, a crucial next step is to combine longitudinal causal modelling, such as in the present paper, with intervention research, which would provide strong evidence of causal links. Thank you very much for listening. Please do get in touch if you have any questions.